Welcome to SNN Live. We're broadcasting from our studios in Los Angeles, California. I'm Shelley Kraft, and today I have with me John Scribanti of Orion Energy Systems. It's a publicly traded company, and the symbol is OESX. John, welcome to SNN Live. Good afternoon. Thanks for having me on. It's good to have you. Let's get started uh, with an overview of the company for our audience, if you would. So Orion is a company that produces and manufactures LED lighting for industrial and commercial applications. We help companies solve business problems related to both their energy, better managing their real estate, and, and providing more uh, business opportunity for them to pursue. This whole world of LED lighting is replacing an entire lighting system that's been in the world since what? The 30s? I mean, what's going on out yeah, there, Yeah, so the incandescent light bulb was introduced in 1878, and the fluorescent light bulb introduced in 1937 at the World's Fair. So it's uh, it's been around for a long time, and LED now is, uh, after gas discharge lighting, is really the next generation of lighting. And being a digital platform, it's very exciting, because now you have an opportunity to really bring more uh, value to the uh, to the customer than you ever did with just general lighting. What is the spark behind the Vanguard? I, I, I could see saving energy is one. Um, you know, it probably reduces the heat by, by taking out the hot lights. I mean, you tell me. Sure. So the benefits of LED lighting goes well beyond just the, the illumination. It also provides the opportunity to now better manage your workspace, bring in more environmental conditions and, and uh, communicate back to uh, host systems to provide information on uh, on on uh, uh, occupancy in real estate. Uh, it gives you the ability to track assets around manufacturing facilities. You have a uh, uh, forklift traffic that you want to reduce. Uh, lighting can through RFID technology and other technologies can now bring real financial benefit to companies and yet fund those benefits out of energy savings that's inherent in, in lighting retrofits. In your opinion, how much of the old world has been replaced by the new world, which I consider you the new world? Yeah, sure. Well, Orion specializes in retrofit lighting. So we go into buildings that already have lighting and so you have to convince the building owner to make a different to make a change in something that already works most everybody has functional lighting but if you go in with a financial opportunity that says we can take the old stuff out put the new stuff in give you these other benefits that's about a 500 billion dollar marketplace out there in the US alone of the installed lighting that can now be replaced with LED lighting and we're very, very early in that conversion. I think uh, we're less than 5% conversion rate on, on industrial and commercial applications. Roadway has uh, led the path a little bit ahead of that, about 10% adopted. And obviously, street lights and other uh, uh, taillight indicators and that have all been LED for many, many years. But white LED really just became, uh, the, you know, became a, uh, the tipping point occurred just uh, in 2014. Where does the growth come from? I mean, it's industrial, commercial, I would think, right? Oh, absolutely. You know, a lot of people, when you say LED lighting to me, they, they come to me and tell me that they converted the lighting in their kitchen and their, their living room to LED. Uh, and commercial industrial LED lighting is much different, and it requires uh, contractors and electricians and others to come in. So the paybacks have to be much more, um, you know, much more uh, robust than uh, just in your living room. And so uh, the opportunity is massive. The time is now. There is a um, just a, an onslaught of companies that want to make the change to LED lighting. The financial uh, considerations are certainly there. But more and more people are looking at the, the business benefits of using LED lighting for uh, better illumination, uh, that you can change the color of the LED lighting to mimic the daylight outside, mm -hmm. a little more amber in the morning, whiter in the day. And the, to, uh, retailers are looking at that as a way to put customers more in the mood to purchase. And, uh, and then there's things um, like asset tracking that we talked about and some of these other things. Really, it's more about business, solving business problems today than it is the lighting. 
The beautiful part about it is the lighting generates the energy savings that funds the solution to the business. So it's a, you get a twofer. How long have you been in the company and, you know, what's some of the history in the company? Yeah, so the company was founded in uh, 1996. I started with the company in the early 2000s, right after some of our patents had been issued. We have 70 patents today and another 30 pending around our technology. Mm -hmm. uh, and uh, so that's, uh, you know, it's about 14 years or so that I've been with the company. And uh, I generated, uh, it was mostly in the sales side of the business, uh, generating new business uh, we, we work with 180 Fortune 500 companies. Uh, and then uh, more recently, in 2012, became CEO uh, of the company. What did you have to do to shift your company from wherever it was into this new form of lighting? Yeah, that's, uh, we, were, we were a what would be now called a legacy lighting company. We did uh, linear fluorescent lighting for energy efficiency. And to, uh, at the time I took over as CEO, uh, we had to make a decision, and that's to double down into the LED space because that's really where the future is, and that's where the opportunity for the business was. So I had to take the reins of the financial uh, elements of the company. Uh, we were in serious uh, trouble as a company at that time. We took all the measures necessary to get on solid financial footing, and then we, uh, we needed a platform to build from. So we made an acquisition uh, of another lighting company that had some nice technology, it had some great salespeople and a great management team. And we took that organization, put it on top of the, the financial wherewithal that we had as a public company, and then uh, continued to build. It was uh, shortly thereafter where the tipping point of LED occurred, we went from 3% LED and 97% fluorescent to over 50% LED in the first six months, and today we're over 80% in LED. And as part of that, it, it, it pressured our manufacturing processes, we had to retool the entire business, we had to build out an entire new sales organization, and our margins through that whole process collapsed to the point where uh, we were burning cash and our stock had dropped. But we, need, we knew we had to fix the margins before we could grow the revenue. T today, we have reversed all of the margin uh, degradation. We're back to where we were. We're in great shape margin-wise, and now it's time to accelerate the revenues. We're doing that through, through uh, expanding into wholesale electrical distribution, which is a massive part of the business that... Uh, uh, we had never participated in before, so it's a great pivot into a sales channel that's going to just open up, scale the business. Do you do the actual changeovers in these facilities? Uh, we do m less and less of it today. The, uh, our, uh, today our business really is selling through electrical distribution, allowing the contractors to do that work. We do have a handful of companies that still uh, demand to do business with us on a direct basis, and we maintain the cap capability to do that. And we're also outsourcing some of that capability to our channel partners so that they can utilize the skills that, that we had acquired over the last 20 years. Do you have a national footprint in the U.S.? Yeah, we do business in all 50 states uh, and uh, uh, into North America as well, so Canada and some of the Latin American countries. Do you have any recent news you want to share? Well, the only, you know, we continue to win business. I mean, I think that's been, uh, that's been great. We uh, had, uh, uh, we just announced $2 million of the federal contracts we just received. Federal business mm -hmm. has always been a great part of our, uh, our portfolio of, of customers. The, uh, we, we announced some great business with Toyota Manufacturing here in the United States. Uh, we just continue to do business with uh, the great names. Uh, well, when you Fortune say Toyota, let me, let me interrupt. I think of Toyota as being a massive facility. Automo in, the automotive industry has um, obviously advanced to, a, to the extent of, you know, having, you know, giant CapEx, and now they're first getting around to their lighting? Well, the auto manufacturers are looking for every edge. And again, it's not just about the energy savings. Right. And, the, and they have the capital to do it. They're trying to solve business problems, stay competitive, and really bring a better package of, of products to their customers. And lighting, while it, you know, it reduces safety, increases productivity, it gives a lot of opportunity, we can also help those com companies 
uh, we do business with many of the motor companies, not just Toyota, mm-hmm. help them have a much more functional operation inside their manufacturing facilities. They're very large facilities, and it's very easy to get lost. And so to have not only the lighting, but then also the digital systems to help them navigate through uh, with their material handling equipment and what have you. So, so, so they would use you as a solutions company, I would take it. Yeah, Ryan has seen more as solving business problems today than they are with lighting. I mean, we have the highest performing lighting technology in the market. Uh, we outpace all of our leading competitors in with double-digit performance improvements. Uh, we have a, uh, a quicker to market. Our product development cycles are uh, concept to delivery in less than four months, which is unheard of in the lighting industry. We have um, the... Uh, uh, just a terrific platform for growth. And with the market out there now, you have uh, one of the largest technology shifts occurring in the world going from legacy lighting to a digital uh, lighting platform, uh, which you can do so much more with. It's just uh, our future is ahead of us. So you told me a little bit about your history. What, who's some of the other management team uh, that you could tell me about? Sure. Well, recently we brought on a new chief financial officer, Bill Hull. He uh, came to us from a uh, $700 million public company. He's been uh, through thick and thin of all the things that we're about to face. Part of our management strategy has been to bring on a new team of people that have been the places where Orion is going so that we've got the horsepower, we've got the credentials, but the experience and the scar tissue, quite frankly, hmm. to build a bigger company than where we are today. We've done that throughout the ranks of our company and uh, continue to uh, look for great talent. I want to ask you a little bit about the future growth of the company. Tell me what you can about some you know, objectives that you may have for the next couple of quarters, if you would. Well, certainly with the turnaround behind us, having our margins improved, have our manufacturing now scalable, we built a scalable platform, we, we uh, took our capital allocation strategy to selling real estate assets, selling all the non-core parts of our business that were necessary to create that variable cost model in our, our business. And so today it's all about sales execution. We are expanding into the electrical wholesale distribution, as I had mentioned. We continue to leverage our, our national account business. And uh, with the adoption curves uh, at a very early adopter stage of LED technology adoption, we've got a great opportunity ahead of us. John, let's get your website out there for our audience, if you would. Sure. It's orionlighting.com. Ladies and gentlemen, John Scribanti, Orion Energy Systems. It's a publicly traded company. The symbol is O-E-S-X. I'm Shelley Kraft. This is SNN Live, and we came to you today from our Los Angeles studios. Thanks for coming on, John. Thanks for having me. Appreciate it.